In this syllabus video, we're going to go in depth into the my stat lab components of your grade. So you're graded on two things. You're graded on the lecture videos and the my stat lab homework. Now both of these are available under homework. So when you're in my stat lab in the course, I'm just trying to think, oh, I should have clicked on course home. That was my fault. Course home. So when you're in the course here, you can see assignments coming up, coming due here on what to work on next. You all can also click on homework and you can see the different videos. Now, the thing is the videos have to be watched before you can do the homework. So it won't let you do the homework for the section until you have the videos watched. That's why there's a little flag right there. Oops, apparently I need to put a flag right there for section 1.1, I will fix that. But you can see all the sections of homework, or most of them, have little green flags, which means you have to watch the lecture videos before you can do the homework. And any ones that don't have them, I will go put in little flags. Okay, so if that's the case, you watch the video, so you can see I was already, um, oops, close. I don't want to click on the homework. I want to click on the video. I had already watched one of the videos, so now I'm going to watch the other one. So you click on the videos, and then it has little green check marks. Now, that, of course, it has a little green check mark whether I watched it or not. So, sorry, I'm giving you a dirty little secret. So, that means that I need to have some kind of way of checking that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So, the lecture videos, they're available under the homework link in my style lab. You watch the videos and you fill out the pages of your course pack. You follow along with those videos and you fill out by hand paper and pencil writing in your course pack. Now to check that you're doing what you should be doing in order to maintain those points because my stat lab will give them to you automatically but I can take them away and the, I would do that if I ask you for spot checks and you do not have them. So what are spot checks? Well, at periodic points, random points in the course, I'm going to say to you, um, you know, I'm not entirely certain. I'm going to try this a couple different ways and see what works best. But I'll say, you know, send me your picture of this page. And every student might send me a, um, different pages. I might assign, I will definitely assign pages. So I'll say, you know, Susie Q, send me this page and so and so send me that page. And you'll either email them to me or actually not email. I because Lord knows I don't need all these pictures in my email. It'll break my email. So what we'll do is um, you will either post them in the discussion board or you will um, put them into my stat lab under document sharing. I'll ask for it in the assignment email. So I'll send out an assignment email and say, hey, everybody, check out this email. Here's your name with your associated page. Post this page within the next couple days to my stat lab in the discussion board, which means you will go post in the discussion board. And I'll create a board for it for you to post. Or I'll say post it under document sharing and I'll create an area in document sharing for you to put that. So that means that you are watching along, filling out that course pack as you go. And if you do not have those pages filled out, then you will lose your video points. Now, where is all this posting going on? So there's two spots. There's the discussion board. Now, there are a lot of discussion boards here that you can't actually see when you go in. I see everything because I'm the instructor. So what I would do is I would make a page, make a board that has... Um, you know, spot check number one, and everybody can go post. You can see that these are all hidden from you. Um, so it'll say spot check number one, and everybody goes to post their page of those notes. Or um, spot check number, you know, week number two, spot check. And so everybody goes and posts their page. So I'm, I might do it in the discussion boards. Or I might also do it under course tools, document sharing. So you click on document sharing. Email, by the way, is way you can both email me and other students in the course. Right now there's nobody here but me. But you can email other students. Also, if you're working off of your iPad, um, the multimedia textbook is available here in an HTML format. So if, if you're working off your phone or your, or your iPad or, or some device like that that's not as... Um, doesn't have as many bells and whistles as a computer, you can actually access the e-text that way under course tools. I left it in there for you. All right, so I would post in here. So there's computer project one area, computer project two area. I would post at category. I would add a category that would say, um, uh, let me think, week number five, notes spot check. And then 
students would go, there it is, week number five, Snow Spot Check, and you would click on upload a document. You would upload it just for the instructor to see, possibly, um, although I don't think it's a big deal if everybody sees these particular ones. You would go choose the file from your computer and upload it for me so that I can click on it and see it there. If you're in the discussion board, um, click on the discussion board. All right, so I will click on any of these discussion boards in here. So I could click respond, and then one of the options here is to attach a file. So you can, let me think, there's a hyperlink wizard there. Oh, there it is, it's the attachment. So you click down here on the little file clip, add or remove, and you would add a file. So you could choose a file in there to a save and attach. Right, so you choose your file and then you click attach that file. So I would click a file and then I click attach that file and then it would be there in the email or in the discussion board. And I would put my name and say, you know, Susie Q spot check and here it is. I, you know, page number, blah, blah, blah. So you could say Susie Q, you could say page, you know, number, I don't know, 34. And then you would click add or remove, go find your picture of page 34, which you've taken with your phone or with your scanner or whatever, and you would post it there. So you'll have to be able to scan with your phone, um, which we'll talk about in paper pencil packets, but you can scan for free with a phone. All the smartphones nowadays have decent enough cameras that you can usually scan with free apps like Cam Scanner or Genius Scan. So you would just post it there, you know, email it to yourself and post it. All right, so that's how to get points for your videos and how to maintain them. Now, let me just give you a warning. There is a free tutoring that I mentioned in an earlier syllabus overview video at, available at the Center for Student Success on Central Campus, and it's wonderful. They can give you lots of help. However, I have warned them and the, both the tutors know and their supervisors know that if Math 133 students arrive with their course packs not filled out, in other words, you didn't fill out the notes when you watched the videos, um, those students should be directed to computers to watch the downline le video lectures first. Only after those notes are filled out should they be receiving help on homework, paper, pencil packets, etc. In other words, watching those videos, as boring as they are, and they will be boring, and filling out your course pack is absolutely positively required and essential. You, It is your job to try to learn the material before you show up at the tutoring center. You have to come to them prepared. They are hired to help you with specific questions, but it's not their job to teach you chapters worth of material. Um, that is what the online lectures are for. If my online lectures confuse you, then go start watching the, that, the other videos that are available under the multimedia library and take notes, right? Have pages of notes filled out so you can show that you're putting in forth the time and effort the course takes. They cannot in you know a five hour study session teach you chapters. They can help you with questions you're having. They can help you with struggles. They can help you with a section maybe, but they can't teach you wholesale the course because it's an online course. You're expected to be learning it online on your own through the videos, the PowerPoint slides, all that extra stuff that's available, both for me and the course back in my videos. And then if you need extra help under my stat lab with those PowerPoint slides, those extra lectures, all that stuff that I've shown you in the multimedia library. The paper pencil packets um, refer directly back to those notes. And I can tell you right now, when I grade them, it is very obvious to me when students have not watched the videos because their answers are so not <laughs> what we are looking for in this course. So be warned, you must, must fill out those course packs in order to receive help from me, in order to be successful in the course, in order to get full points for your packets and for your exams. It is one of the most important things you can do is to fill out those notes and follow along in the lectures and learn the material. All right, the, my warning is over with. <laughs> Moving on to the MyStatLab homework. So you can't do the homework until you have the videos watched, as I was saying. So let me go back to course home. Actually, what am I doing that? I could just click on homework. So after I've watched the videos for 2.1, Right? Then I go click on the homework for 2.1, it'll let me do the questions for this section. Right? So you click on these problems, you can do these problems, and you can repeat until you get full credit. So you can do them over and over and over. So you can get 100% on both the videos and the homework in the course. So that's a lot of points and you don't want to miss them. Doing the homework late can create a penalty of up to 5% per day 
which means you don't want to be late, right? You want your homework all done and on time, everything great. Um, if you don't know how to do something, you can send it to me with Ask My Instructor. Um, do not forget about that extra My Stat Lab playlist that I have about online miscellaneous, this playlist right here, because this playlist can give you some help for some problems. So some problems throw students, like 6.1 number 35 throws students all the time. So I made a video that shows you how to do it. There, I just added that note in there. And that's, I get those questions from students asking them with this Ask My Instructor feature. When you're in the homework, if you're really lost, you can click on that Ask My Instructor button and under question help, ask my instructor, and you can email it to me and then I can go, oh, you know, five different students are having questions with this. I'll go post a video and put it up there on that playlist for you to help you. So that's how you get help with that. All right, so that's how to do the homework. It's all under my stat lab. Remember, you must do the videos, you must fill out the notes, then you do the homework. Um, the my stat lab homework. The my stat lab homework is really just small time practice. It's it's not as in-depth as the paper pencil packets. And those we'll talk about in the next video.